What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having an awesome day. As you can see, we are at the racetrack. We're at Atlanta Dragway. We got Frostbite here, and we are running in street truck, street car takeover today. Uh, first time I've ever ran in this event. It should be pretty damn fun. We have the truck currently right now. We got it tuned to run 12s, flat 12s, high 11s very, very easily. Um, but we're running in a 12 second index, and it's basically a heads up race. Um, there will be no tree drop. Basically, you will stage, and it will be instant green, and then you go. So it'll be a little bit different race for me to get used to, but it should be pretty fun, and I'm hoping we do really good. Uh, the truck definitely is no doubt going to be very, very stout in the 12-second class. Um, I have no doubt about that. So as long as I'm on my game, we get good traction, all that mess, we should be pretty freaking good. Um, but other than that, guys, stay tuned. Let's get to the race. What's up guys? All right, we are about to make our first test hit of the day at Street Truck Takeover. And uh, we got pretty decent weather out here, guys. Again, we have the truck tuned to hopefully run 12.0 flat. Um, I'm sure we could probably push it out to high 11s if we want, but this will be the first pass. And what I'm gonna do is we have my shift light program for about 5,700. And we are gonna launch off the foot brake and see what she does. I'm just gonna run it all out and see what, see what we do. We should run about a 12.0. Um, it might be a little quicker because the weather today is pretty good. Uh, we got about a, a 16, 1700 DA right now. Um, feels pretty nice out here in Georgia. Really windy, but it feels pretty good. Uh, but anyway, we're about to do the first pass and uh, hopefully after that, we're gonna probably do another pass or two and uh, at least try to figure out um, how we got to drive the truck today to run 12 O's and uh, this is a heads-up race there's no tree drop um, you will pre-stage just like you do on any other race event but there will be no amber lights dropping um, it will be an instant green light more or less like a street race as soon as the lights green we both go and uh, that's the plan so as long as we don't you know red light or take off before the light comes on green and we don't run faster than our index. Again, we're shooting for the 12-0 index, so we have to run 12-0s or slower, but we still have to win the race. So, there we go. Let's get the first pass out of the bag and see where we're at.
time was because I, com I, I stole the converter too much and it bumped me past the tree, so it disqualified my time. I made a pass, but I don't know what it was, so I don't have a time to be able to practice on it. So that was it.
115 mile an hour on a 12 second uh, tune up with like no timing. We got, uh, I think we got, what was it, a 12, 11 and a half, 12 degrees of timing in this tune up and we're shifting early. We're shifting at 5,800 RPM and uh, we just ripped off 11.6. That was nuts, but it is what it is. What's up guys? All right, like I said, we went too fast and unfortunately we beat ourselves Again, I'm not the best index racer. I'm still learning this stuff, but here's a time slip again. This is, uh, again, this is my personal best and not even meaning to. We did 11.6 and this is on the Dr. Differential Tune. This is on his enforcer camshaft, and this is on the Cope Racing transmission. Um, the air today was pretty good. We had about an 1800 DA, and we're running the same exact tune-up that we had in the truck when we went to NMRA, uh, NCM, N <clears throat> NMCA event in the True Street class. And that day we had about 3000 DA, and we were running 11 nines and 12 O's like clockwork that day on this exact tune-up. And it, like I said, very little timing in the truck. We're shifting at like 5,800. And that day, in that event, a couple weeks back, we were doing 12 O's. So I really felt like we had a solid truck for this class. The, we had a bunch of rain come through Georgia last uh, the, this past week, and it's really cooled it, the air down. Uh, the DA today was like 1,800. So we have you know more than half better the, the DA than we did a couple weeks back. And with the same tune-up, guys, we just ripped off 11.6, um, which is my personal best. Completely not not meaning to do it. It was just it just happened. Um, I won't say I'm happy that we beat our personal best, but I'm kind of mad at myself because we went too fast and we broke out. So that sucks. We definitely have a truck that could have competed and could have won, but I gotta get used to the index racing. Um, the guy I raced in the Camaro, which you'll see in the GoPro footage. He never lifted and he was cut you know we were pretty much next to each other the whole time and I mean he was coming on hard and I was expecting to see him kind of nose over and let out um, he never did he stayed in it the whole way and he also went too fast he ran 11 9 as you see on the slip and it made me push the truck more than I should have I should have let out a long time ago and just let him pass me and we would have won he would have went too fast he would have broke out we would have been in the race still um, I don't know how to explain. Like a, a I don't know how to explain the feeling the when you got a car right next to you and he's up. he's you know pulling up on you. And it's hard to not go any faster. Uh, and the worst thing is, like I said, on the practice run, I messed up and I didn't get a time slip to know how fast the truck was doing in this air. So that literally was the first pass I got with a time slip. And I'm sure the practice run we had, we probably ripped off another mid 11 second pass. And I would have knew then I need to shift it like, let's say five grand to keep, you know, keep our, our ET at about 12 O's or so. But, it is what it is. We come out here, we had fun, we got good weather, it feels good. We had a blast out here at Street Truck Takeover. Frostbite has a per, uh, new personal best. Not much, but hey, it's a personal best and it's in summertime. You know, our per, our, our last 11.6 was at the end of the season, last day the track was open, and we had almost, I wanna say it was like a 500 DA, and uh, yeah, so we just we beat our personal best night, with an 1800 DA with a, you know, a 12 second tune up in the truck. So I'm really stoked with what the truck's gonna do when we get you know, a, a zero DA um, or a really low DA. We throw some more timing in it. Um, we're probably gonna go to running a 100% mess on my method section. We're running the, the boost juice right now. Um, we're talking about going 100% meth in the meth injection. We'll be able to throw a little more timing in it. We're going to try to start uh, uh, stretching the shifts out a little bit. We're going to try to start shifting at like 6,200 and see what that does. And uh, again, hell, this pass, guys, was off the foot brake, not the trans brake. And the truck is going. It's hauling ass. So I'm happy with that. We just got to get better at index racing. Other than that, guys, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.